to Terra. <laughs> you, you vixen, you. Stop it. I love you. That, that, that gown is gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. I saw it in the window and I just couldn't resist it. Oh, that dress, it's legendary. And that was one of the funniest moments from the Carol Burnett Show. And I'm happy to have the one and only Carol Burnett here with me now. She's also the author of the new book, This Time Together. So, um, you were raised by your grandma. Yep. Who, yep. Um, I read that she was married six times. Well, yes, I didn't know it at first. She yeah. told me only three. And then... Uh... <laughs> she was a hot number, your Yes, she was. She really was. In fact, uh, when she died she was 81 uh she uh had a 40 year old boyfriend who was a jazz musician from redondo beach really uh-huh yeah. wow <laughs> i would remember i i came out to see her in hollywood i'd put her in an apartment and everything and so i went in to show her some photographs or something i we were visiting and i was showing her some pictures and i'd been living in new york and she had this kind of green japanese lantern over her couch yeah. you know and I said, Nanny, let me just take this uh, Japanese lantern off here so you can see better. And she said, don't you touch that. That's my love light. <laughs> oh, well, excuse me. <laughs> and the, <laughs> and it used to tug on your ears. So yeah, that you was for her. her. Yeah, yeah. It was and, so sweet yeah, every week. It, That's it made was, you, that was a thing about you that, yeah. that, that everybody knows about. Oh, well, thanks. Such yeah. a great thing. And... Um, the other thing is, you know, I know that you, in your book, you talk about how your parents struggled with alcoholism mm -hmm. and everything. I, I'm more interested in the fact that you sued the, the National Enquirer mm -hmm. and won the lawsuit. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever told anybody that story on television. I'd love to hear that. Well, what happened was I was back there. I was going to perform at the White House. Yeah. And uh, I was with the, our uh, uh, conductor and so forth. We were going to do something. It was when the Fords were in. Uh -huh. And... Uh, so we all went to a restaurant one night, uh, my conductor and the writers and so forth, and we were in this Washington, D.C. restaurant, and a kind of, it was kind of empty. And then across the way was Dr. Kissinger with a couple of people whom I knew and all. But, uh, and as we finished uh, dinner and we were leaving, um, I was introduced to him. He said, well, it's very nice to meet you, and I'll be looking forward to you at the White House tomorrow, uh -huh. and, you know, all that. And so that was it. Yeah. Next thing I know, in a couple of weeks or whatever, said Carol Burnett was running around the such-and-such such restaurant in D.C., spilling wine on people and forcing Henry Kissinger to drink wine and spilling wine all over his tie. And every I mean, it was just... Bizarre, and the idea that anybody could force Kissinger to do anything. Do it, well, yeah. You know, I tried. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people have tried. So I yeah. thought that's not right. You know, yeah. and when, especially when I came from that background, I just it really made it. Made you mad. So I sued them, yeah. and um, I. Uh, it went for five years. Mm -hmm. The you know the lawsuit. You were relentless. I was. I yeah. was. I just decided that yeah, they're not going to do that. So. Um, it went to a jury trial, yeah. and then they did prove, uh, mal not malice of forethought, you can't prove that, but you can prove reckless disregard for the truth. Mm. And they even found a memo uh, that they presented at court that said, uh, Carol Burnett and Henry Kissinger were in such such a restaurant last night. What can we make of this? Wow. Yeah. Wow. So that really nailed it, you know. And so, uh, I before... The trial was over, and I was still, you know, worried about it. And it was in the newspapers every day and everything. And I went, before I was going to go to court that day, I dropped in on my doctor to get a vitamin shot, you know, because it was really yeah. stressful. And I walked into the doctor's office, and there was Barbara Stanwyck. Oh. Wonderful Barbara Stanwyck. Brilliant. She was in her 70s, and she had beautiful gray hair, and she had on pearls and a lovely suit. I didn't know she was a patient of uh, 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 of my doctor, yeah. you know. But she smiled at me, and I smiled back, you know. Barbara Stanwyck, wow. One of the great movie stars. I grew up watching her. And she said, you're going to win this case. <laughs> I said, oh, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Stanwyck, from your lips to God's ears. Thank you. She said... No, I mean, I know you're going to win this case. Well, you don't argue with Barbara Stanwyck, no, you know. Don't. And I said, well, no. She's from Brooklyn. Yeah. She said, well, <laughs> I know you are. 
I said, well, great. She said, my leprechaun told me. Oh, a leprechaun. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I said, you're the, excuse me? And she said, my leprechaun told, oh, they exist, all right. And he said that you're going to whip their ass. A leprechaun. Oh, her leprechaun. This is like more than beyond. Uh, is that unbelievable? Yeah. And she, she said, now you just get some rest and you know you're going to. But it's beyond Shirley MacLaine. <laughs> yes. You it know was. what I mean? It's like yeah. a leprechaun. Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Isn't that wild? Yes. It's so cute that you're a starstruck. Oh, sure. Yeah. We'll be right back in a minute with more <laughs> with Carol Burnett. You're starstruck. I'm back with Carol Burnett. Okay, we're going to have some Facebook and Twitter questions now. Um, let's see. Here. Where does uh, Carol keep her Emmys? At home. Just in the house? Any specific place? Well, there's a couple of shelves that yeah. I put them on. In the, in the, it's kind of the media room where we watch television yes. and do stuff. Do you dust them? I... I go and I hold them and do oh. my thank you speeches quite often. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> did you ever turn down any parts that you wish you hadn't? No. Okay. D what is your biggest regret, if you have any? My biggest regret? I don't really have any. No? No. I, this is you and my Aunt Rose. She I had no regrets either. No, I, 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 I wouldn't be as where I am or as lucky, even with the bad things that could have happened yeah. or did happen or whatever. Uh, there was a reason, so. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you like doing comedy or drama? Because people don't know. I don't think they are really aware of what a good dramatic actress you are. Oh, thank also. you. Also. Yeah. So which do you prefer? Comedy. Comedy, why? Because it makes me feel happy when I hear people laughing. That's the best. That's it. And you can't really control it. No. No, uh -huh. it's wonderful. You can't manipulate it the right. way you can with drama sometimes. Exactly. Do you consider your life a success? You just answered that, I yes. think. Okay, um, let's see. Are you willing to do Saturday Night Live? We would love to see you do that. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, sure. You hear that, Lorne Michaels? <laughs> um, would you return to TV if the right project became available? Not weekly. No, no, I wouldn't want to do that. That's a grind. Uh, well, ours wasn't a grind. It was so easy and that fun. I know that uh, you can't do that again. You yeah. know. So I've seen. I did some guest shots on some sitcoms a few years mm -hmm. ago, and there's 22 minutes of show, right? right. Because of the commercials that's and stuff right. like that. They would go for five hours. Oh, it's or so six annoying. Six hours, and they yeah. were making a movie, or you know, and I'm get me out of here you know because <laughs> our show we would take sometimes an hour and 15 minutes with all those costume change everything we'd be out in two hours wow yeah wow Musical so, so yeah because you were on uh, didn't you play whose mother did you play in a sitcom recently oh um helen hunt in, in, in mad about you mad about you yeah. that's right what do you think about today's tv programming they want to know oh do you think your show would have made it on tv now i think funny is funny yeah but yeah, would they but even it, book a, a variety yeah show? you can't t today you couldn't do what we did or what flip wilson did or the smothers brothers sunny and chair we were all on at the same time yeah and uh, because of money it's so expensive it's very expensive i mean we had a 28 piece live orchestra we had 12 dancers we had wow. two major guest stars a week our rep company and 50 5 costumes by Bob Mackey every week. Wow. So that's prohibitive today. It would, the, the prices would be. Uh, Even though they paid the guy, people from Friends a million dollars an episode, it still would have been more expensive to have a variety show. I think so. Oh, well, I don't know. See, this is why reality shows are popular. Well, they they're $1.98. $1.98. Yeah. Yeah. Carol, I can't tell you what a pleasure it is to oh, have darling. you here and to see you. Everyone is so <laughs> loving you. Thank you. The book is called This Time Together, Laughter and Reflection.